All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Kakwadash. Call Hala, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Kakwadash. I'm the brother Tazamakamath, coming from the camp Company of Prophets here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth and real well. Peace and citation to the whole fillet that scattered abroad. And uh, I'm just going to touch up on a quick lesson um, how Esau, his joy is at the sunset, but when the night fall, that will be his destruction. And when you think about it, you know, um, when you think about a sunset, you know, you know, Esau's reign is coming to an end. You know, when the sun, when the sun is setting, you know, it's going down. His light of his kingdom is, is fading away. His his power, his rulership, everything is getting exposed. Everything is falling and crumbling. You know, you got Satan divided against Satan. You know, you got all these things happening in the Middle East. You know, it's just showing that Yahweh Shem is in control and he's directing this devil, you know, basically showing him that your kingdom is falling. Like, there's no way you're getting back up. So I just want to, uh, select you. So let's, let's, uh, start off with this first scripture. So this is Isaiah 10 and 15. It says, shall the axe boast itself against him that heweth therewith? Or shall the saw? Or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? As if the rod shall shake itself against them that lift it up? Or as if the staff should lift up itself? As if there were no wood, right? You know, and it just showed you that the Lord, you know, is in control. Okay, how how can an axe, you know, is it, basically symbolizing how these things, how they don't have no power unless somebody, you know, uses it, puts them in use. Okay, how can an axe boast itself, and to to hew something down, and someone is not cutting? Okay, and, and put the axe to chop a tree a tree down. Like it has no power. Alright. Or how shall the saw magnify itself against him that shake of it? Right? You saw in, you saw in something. It it doesn't have no power unless you unless you go back and forth shaking it. Alright? Or as if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up. Or as or as if the staff should lift up itself. As if they're they're as if it were no wood, right? So if you don't have these these things don't have no power unless the Lord gives it. Which shows you the Lord is in control. So let's go to uh Proverbs twenty one and one it says the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As as the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. Okay, so the king's heart will be your, you know, your top nations. You know, you got like Putin, Biden. These are your kings, you know, because they ruling the countries right now. All right. And guess what? The Lord is advising their heart. He's making them think the way they think, you know, um, don't make them, you know, boast in different things. You got Putin boasting in his in his missiles, right? So this is verse two. It says, "Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but Yahweh pondereth the hearts." Right? So, hey, in, in your mind, you think you're doing your own thing, but the whole time the Lord is just devising and controlling you. All right. It's Amos. Let's see.
So this is Amos 4 and 13. And this, hey, this is real power, bro. Okay, this says, For lo, he that formeth the mountains and created the wind. Okay, who and who have done that? Yahweh Bashim Shai. He created the mountains. He, uh, man, Esau can't, can't understand how the wind was created. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you could feel the wind, but you can't see it. All right. <laughs> the Lord created the wind. Hey, that's power, bro. Like, you feeling something you can't see. All right. So it says, for lo, he that formed the mountains and created the wind and declareth unto man what is his thought. The Lord declareth unto man what is his thought. So everything, you know, Esau thinks he's going to do, the Lord has already put in his mind to do it. Okay. It says that maketh the morning darkness and treadeth upon the high places of the earth. Yahweh, the God of hosts, is his name. Okay. Yahweh Bashim of armies. Okay. Look, bro. The Lord declareth unto man what is his thought. So, so Esau, his son is setting upon him. Joy. Let's get that joy of hypocrite. So this is Job 20 and 5. It says, um, it says that the triumphing of the wicked is short. Okay, right. They have nothing but a short time. As the sun is setting, it it's quick. It's real quick. You ever watch the sun set? You could just see the sun each minute. It's going down more and more and more, quicker and faster. This going into the horizon and then uh, and then eventually it goes dark okay but that's that's going to be the end of Esau's rulership okay he see he sees that he's at the last bit of his kingdom all right so it says Joe 20 and 5 it says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment Though his excellency mount up to heavens, mount up to the heavens, and his head reacheth unto the clouds. Right, he he has so much pride, he think he can't get took down. Okay, you ask and you ask the average American, you know, hey, you think America will ever, you know, the U.S. will ever be destroyed? They'll be like, no. But they see the things that's going on in the in the Middle East. They don't think twice of that coming over here, man. All right. Their pride is lifted up. But verse seven, it says, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung, right? His own shit. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Right. So once this man is out of power, Esau is out of power. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Where, where is Esau? Because as soon as the nukes get shot off, all the nukes get shot off, it's over for Esau. Your rulership is over. Okay? Really, it's really over when the MOTB get mandated. Okay? <laughs> and Jacob's trouble is already, you know, brinked. All right? Once we see the MOT, MOTB mandated, it's over, man. Your rulership is done. Because we know the prophecies that lead up next. They're going to have the people that take it, the people that line up, all right? And then we're going to know Yahweh is, is coming in a quick moment, okay? In a quick moment, all right? And that's why it's going to be the hour of temptation, all right? Verse 8, it says, he shall fly away as a dream, all right? You think about a dream, hey, you have a dream, and then you wake up, and then you forget it. You know, you're like, damn, I just had a dream, but I can't remember the details. That's how Esau is going to be. Right? Nobody's going to remember what this nigga done. Right? It says, and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. And it makes me think about this one scripture. Um, is this he? 
Let's see. I know it's in um Isaiah. Let's put it Earth tremble Right this is Isaiah uh, 14 And uh, 16 Mm. Oh we can start up Let's start Isaiah 14 and 12 It says How art thou fallen from heaven O Lucifer Son of the morning. Now, these Christians will read this. I think <laughs> Lucifer is like the fucking devil or whatever. Lucifer just means light bearer. Okay. So Esau, as he's born, he's the he's the wicked. Right. So he's he's bearing the light of the wicked. All right. He bearing wicked, the light of the wickedness. Okay. But see, it says, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, fallen out of power, okay? O Lucifer, son, the light bearer of wickedness, son of the morning, how art thou, um, it says, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Who else weakens nations? Who else goes and infiltrates nations, even though it is not part of their problem? You, the United States. Okay, they have U.S. embassies everywhere. They weaken nations. They cut down nations. Look, during the time of uh, 2001, they went to the Middle East and put a a false propaganda against, you know, the Arabs just so they could infiltrate and take their oil. That's all an oil scheme over there. All right. And you look at you look at Iraq before and after. Hey, they weaken the nations, bro. All right, and guess what? This is the same. This is the same devil that dropped bombs in Japan. All right, on here, uh, Fat Boy and Little Man, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay, they weakened the nation. They had the whole earth scared. All right, reading on it says, "For thou has said in thine heart and his mind, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High." I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. That's how this devil thinks. He thinks he can't get stopped. He think he think he can't be stopped. He think he can't be cut down. He can't he think he can't be taken out of power. But that's the Lord putting it in his mind. So let's actually stop right here. And we're gonna come back to it. Lord willing is making sense. Lord willing is less than edifying. So we go right here, Romans 9 and 17, because look, USA is is uh, spiritual Egypt and Sodom, okay? Spiritual Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah. Egypt, this represents bondage. You read that Exodus 20 and 2, right? Mizraim, okay? This means bondage, right? We're in the time of bondage, right? We're still slavery, all right, getting taxed around everything. And the Sodom, because guess what? They push nothing but A, B, C, D, Y, Z. Okay. But look, this is Romans 9, 17. It says, for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. So guess what? Yahweh Shem is the one that raised up nations, raised up kingdoms, raised up, you know, rulers. You got Nebuchadnezzar, then you got the Medio Persians. Well, let me let me start again. Let me correct myself. The Assyrians, then you got the Assyrian Babylonians, then you got the Medio Persians, then you got the Greeks, then you got the Romans, then you got what we at now, America, the U- USA. All right, the New Rome. All right, but guess what? The Lord had lifted up each and every nation for a certain time period. But guess what? When when Yahabashim Mashai lifted up Pharaoh, he put in his heart in his in his mind that he can't get stopped, that he's on top of the world. 
All right. So the Lord raised him up for this purpose, right? That I might show my power in thee. So the Lord can exercise and show how powerful he is. Yeah, I put you in that power, but I can take you out like this. And that's why we read about, you know, um, during the time of the Passover or during the time of the Pesach, you see about all these plagues. And when you read in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, it says the same things that's happened to Egypt is going to come now again. All right. Time, times 100. OK, there was there was darkness. There was, you know, pestilence and death all over. Same thing that's going to happen today. So the Lord lifted up Pharaoh to put and put pride in his mind that he that so the Lord can show his power. And that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. Then all the earth is going to see Yahushai and bow. And they're going to declare that this is this is Yahushai. This is the Lord. This is who he really is. This is that he's not Jesus. <laughs> it's not Jesus. It's Yahushai. Coming in a big fathership. Coming in the chariot. To, to show his glory. To show his holiness. To show his power. To to rate a hey, to save his elect, to see every knee bow before him, even the animals, every creation is going to bow to Yahweh Shimei Shai because guess what? The Lord is the one that created all things. <laughs> you hear me? The Lord is the one that created all things. Every knee going to bow, <laughs> regardless. Every knee is going to bow. Everybody is going to see the Lord come. All right. So now let's go back to Isaiah 14. All right. So I proved that point. And the Lord lifted up. Um, lifted up Esau. So he, so the Lord could show his power once again. Um, where was I? Okay. Isaiah 14 and 14. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Okay. And guess what? That's how Esau thinks. I will be like the most high. I'm, I'm, I'm. Everything I teach is contrary to the Lord. They everybody's gonna come to me. I want I want to, I want total control. See, the Lord knows who every spirit is because He's the Father of spirits. He knows where everybody's at, where everybody's thinking. But that but that's how Esau wants to be with MOTB. He wants to put a, a C hip inside of you so he can know your thoughts. He know where you at. He knows what you're doing. He wants to be like the Most High. Okay. Verse 15, it says, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, the grave to the sides of the pit. So he's going to hey, he's going to get ruined. All right. Verse 16, it says, they that see thee. All right. So they representing, you know, these other nations. OK, that see thee, Esau shall narrowly look upon thee. Right. They squint and they're like, hold on. It says, and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, right? Because he dropped bombs, right? Made places of wilderness, destroyed the cities thereof, right? And opened not the house of his prisoners. <laughs> you see, so all these Gentile nations, all right, the natural Gentiles, these heathens, all right, and this is gonna be in the kingdom. They're gonna see this devil. Like, is this the man that made the earth to tremble? He's the base man. Okay, so let's go back to Job 20th chapter. Verse 9, right? It says, The eye also which which uh Slaki it says, the eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Okay, neither shall his place any more behold him. Right, so we ain't gonna be seeing this devil, man. This devil's gonna be destroyed. He's gonna be a fucking slave. And that as he should be. Alright. So let's go to uh Job the 14th chapter, the fifth verse. It says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Right. This devil can't pass a certain time period, man. OK, he can't pass a certain time period. So as the sun is setting on this man's kingdom. All right. Hey, he can't he can't go past that time. 
He know that his, his days are coming to an end. He may not know. He, he, he may not. You know, Esau's full of pride. He's not going to. He's not going to uh, acknowledge it. But, hey, the Lord put the spirit on him to know, hey, bro, you, you, you're you set for a time and a season. All right, let's get a third, um, third part, man. Damn, how is it written? Let's see. Month. Day. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I know it's in Revelation. Okay, right here. This is Revelation 9 and 15. It says, And the four angels were loosed. Okay, the four angels are the are the angels that are on the north, south, east, and west, holding the winds back, the nuclear missiles from being loose. Right, it says, which were prepared for an hour, a day, a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. The third part of men is the sons of the wicked. All right, so you got the sons of God, which represents the Israelites, the sons of men. Represent these heathen nations, and they got the sons of the wicked, the third part of men, which represents Esau, Edom, your so called white man today. All right, these nuclear missiles are prepared to destroy the wicked on a certain hour, day, month, and a year. Okay, so his bounds cannot pass. All right, so when you go to Revelation 12 and 12, it says, Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Woe represents destruction. Okay. For the devil, right? Esau has come down onto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Okay. Hey, he knows he has but a short time. All right. This devil knows he has a short time, man. That's why he has to do all, all things now. Hey, the Lord is speeding up the times for the elect's sake. So that, hey, because if the Lord did not speed up the time, no flesh would be saved, as the scripture saith. All right? But see, this Esau, his his time of uh, the time, his time of triumphing is coming to an end. His sun is setting. Hey, and guess what? When the night falls, the destruction is destruction come. And the world uh world power is gonna change. Let's end it off with this. This is uh, 2, 2 Ezra 6 and uh, verse 8. It says, And he saith unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand first, it's like it says, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And uh, the heel, all right, which is spiritual, it's all spiritual. It's a spiritual omen, all right? So when Jacob's hand was holding the heel of Esau, they were fighting in the womb of uh, the two nations, right? The heel is at the end of your body, okay? And guess what? We're at the end of this rulership. The iron mixed with clay, <laughs> all right? As you read in Nebuchadnezzar's, uh, read about in Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar's dream, okay? The iron mixed with clay. We're at the end of this man, all right? We're at the feet, Okay? So when Jacob's hand was holding the heel of Esau, he was pulling down this man's rulership, pulling them out of power. Starting with Yahweh Shai. Jacob's hand, the hand represents the top of your body. That's the beginning. Okay? And, and guess what? Once we're in power, we're an everlasting kingdom. We're not going to be taken out. Verse 9 says, For Esau is the end of the world. All right? This word world meaning eon age time okay esau is at the is the end of his age all right the end of the world and jacob is the beginning of it that followeth okay so jacob you know israel yasharala prince of the power hey we're the beginning of the new world all right esau is the end all right so as the sun is setting on this devil's rulership this devil's kingdom hey the next 
the next kingdom is yet to come, and that's going to be Israel, star of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. So with that, Lord, when the lesson been edified, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakudash. Till next time, I say Shalom.